Okay, we are here with Jake Felling. Felling, how do you say it? Failing, close failing. enough. Failing. Okay, Jake Failing from Movement Mortgage. He's a CMO, and Movement is one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing mortgage company in the country. Um, so, really excited to be moderating a panel with Jake today on um, reputation management best right. practices. You're, you're moderating like seven panels. I know. So I'm like, what are we doing? Uh, which panel is this? Got it. All right. Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, tell us a little bit about what we're talking about today. Yeah, so reputation management is an area where I've really tried to lean in this year with our loan officers. You know, one, it's so funny because we almost skip past the whole part of like, you've got to build your reputation, just period. And that's on being a good person, being, to use one of Gary's words, is empathetic. Um, you know, provide service with excellence and so on. That's how you build a good reputation. Yeah. All right, then once you build that, how do you manage it? And then there's tools, there's, you know, the difference between first and third party reviews. So I think for me, it's, okay, let's get the reputation right. And then from there, it's give you the right tools and then educate you on how to use them. So you work with the thousand plus loan officers in your company on building their personal brand. Yep. What, uh, what kind of tips do you give them in launching their brand on social media or building their reputation? Yeah, so my buddy Jason Frazier, who's here, he used a term last night, he called it concierge marketing. And of course I know what that means, but I never use it to describe, that's how, i say that's what we offer our loan officers. So, you know, I can give general tips, and you can get all kinds of free content, and that's what I tell them, but what we do, I think that's a little different, is we sit down next to those loan officers, and that may sound insane, that yes, we have 1,500 plus, but we do really try to sit with each of them, and even in 15 minute increments, say, all right, let's reverse engineer. Like, where do you want to be? What do you want? Where do you want to go? How are you going to generate more business this year? And then work back from there. I'm not going to sit there and say, like, you've got to be on Facebook. You've got to be on Instagram. You can you do. Um, but if, if the person is not on Facebook at all, and it's going to be, like, pulling teeth to get them on there, like, let's start where it's intuitive to you. So if that's LinkedIn, if that's Instagram, like, let's start there, and then I'll give you baby steps on how to get into those other spaces. That's awesome. I think bite-sized content is so important. And, uh, and really, it's about authenticity anyway. So if you're going to force someone on Facebook, it's probably not going to be authentic. Um, so I love that personalized plan and, um, and building that out for each loan officer. It's a, sounds like a hefty job you have going. <laughs> uh, it is. I still am not sure how we're pulling it off, but we are. We've got a mean, lean team, about 25 people back in Charlotte. We've got regional marketing coordinators, marketing coordinators all over the country, and I mean, they're the ones, frankly, that do the, the real job for us, sitting there in the trenches with the loan officers and figuring out what specifically we need to do. Cool. Um, any other tips that you would share around uh, building your brand or something that you share with loan officers pretty regularly? Other than make super hyper-specific trademark rip-off t-shirts. Yes, I was going to ask you about uh, this. Please share what you're wearing. Yeah, okay. So, um, people, I, I've heard some people say, like, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Are you a t-shirt company that does mortgages or are you a mortgage company that does t-shirts? I think somewhere it's a little bit of both. You I think we've done how many did you... about 100,000 pieces <laughs> of gear we sold last year on movementgear.com. It's amazing. it's it's it's, cr wow. it's crazy, but it is amazing. And it, it's an element of my job. It's like I gotta, of course, we got a brand. The loan officer do all these things, but I gotta keep up with gear too. Yeah. But I figured if I can do something fun around gear at a personal branding themed event, then what are we doing? So yeah, you know, yeah. I made a couple uh, shirts that I, I'm sure our attorneys are probably not thrilled about. Um, <laughs> but we're we're having fun with it here. But I think that's the key, right? Is yeah. like is find your voice, find your personal brand, and that, and that's for us. It's like you know we are at look, we're at Gary Vaynerchuk's event. Um, you know, love what you're doing with your brand as well. And so like. We want to be unique. We want yeah. to shine a little bit, um, and that can be the same if you're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That could be the same if you're in Detroit. That could be the same wherever you are. Like if you're in a coffee, like why don't you be like the coffee mortgage person and give tips on uh, where to find the best latte around town? And that's the doorway that people can go into to meet you to find out more about you. And then, oh by the way, I also do more. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's what I would say: is find your voice. You know, we just heard on stage is, and be authentic. And uh, I think the, the rest of the brand will follow. That is actually a huge key that we almost just passed over: is building your expertise. Like you are being becoming known as yeah. someone that's a go-to resource, and um, individuals and on a brand level can really do that. So you guys are doing awesome. I know cool, my thanks. dad works for your company, Jeff Smith. Right, Smed, right. And um, yep. so we have lots of movement swag going on in our. I house. can imagine. I can imagine. It's pretty cool. Hey, Jeff. Um, <laughs> Shout out to my dad. That's right. Um, anyway, thank you so much for you sharing your insight, and I'm looking forward to our panel today. Yeah, me too. Thanks a lot.